Hi. Uh, being that I feel that this video is going to be pulled off, I'm going to be directing my attention more to this one here. Uh, it can be something I can keep for myself, whereas this one I feel is going to be pulled off because it goes right to YouTube. It becomes a YouTube video, whereas this one I can maybe put on a live link also. And I think it will be pulled off because uh, Obamer said there must be no future for those that would slander the prophet of Islam. And slander the prophet of Islam is doing what I do, which is just exposing what I feel is evil or stupid in the Quran. So, anyway, when I read my words, I'll be using this side of my face. When I use uh, uh, Muslims' words uh, in a Fu Manchu kind of accent, this side of my face here. Okay, so. <clears throat> Anyway, yeah, I'll begin it now, okay. All right, uh, another fake ex-Muslim, another fake ex-Muslim. Since so many Muslims aren't joining ISIS, then most Muslims are fake Muslims, if you ask me. Um, many Christians are not joining the KKK, then they must be fake Christians. If you can find scriptures in the Injil, New Testament, that you are to hate blacks and Jews and think whites are superior, you might be right. Don't worry about the KKK. Christians cannot survive after drinking poison. That is enough proof for it to consider them fake. Speaking in all languages, that is a bigger deal. Don't even talk about it. <laughs> Don't even talk about it. Uh, well, maybe Christians wouldn't die from eating, uh, from, from drinking poison if they first, in the morning, ate seven Ajwa dates. Muhammad said in Sahih uh, Hadith that if you eat seven Ajwa dates in the morning, you'll be protected all day from both magic and poison. Of course, since it was eating poison goat meat that made his aorta feel severed, proof uh, he'd be a false prophet according to the, the Quran. He must not have eaten seven Ajwa dates in the morning uh, the, uh, on the day the Jewish woman uh, poisoned him for slaughtering her family, true? Anyway, I'm going to turn that fan off because it's bothering me. Bothering me. It's hot, but hey, I think I'll I think I'll put up I think I'll put up with a little heat and then have that uh, fan distracting me here. Okay. Quote, they shall eat, they shall pick up, they shall take up servants, and they shall drink any, and if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick, and they shall recover. That's King James Version, Mark 16, 18. I see no ad seven Adjua dates in this verse of Bible. More than 900 fake Christians died because of Paul the deceiver for trying to translate, uh, to, to try, for trying to for trying for for trying this second thing jesus's language mother tongue was aramaic and aramaic and fake christians playing with greek word no wonder they believe in english translation of hadith arabic word ah he gives us arabic word here yeah some poison toxin bane venom in that type prophet muhammad papa uh, not a single companion of him understood, like it. If it's understood, if someone eats ajwa and then sub and eat poison, it will not affect because there is another hadith that says, quote, "Whoever takes poison and kills himself, his poison will be in his hand, and he will be sipping it in the fire of hell forever and ever." That's Al Bukhari, five four four two, Muslim. Uh, uh, they used it for healing diseases caused by toxin. The Ajwa dates of Al Ali contain healing and they are antidote when taken as. First thing in the morning, Muslim Hadith 3815. Also, narrated Sahid. I suffered from an illness. The Messenger of Allah, may Allah bless him, uh, came to pay a visit to me. He put his hands on my chest and I felt its coolness at my heart. He said, quote, you are a man suffering from 
heart sickness. Go to Al Harith, Ibn Kalada, brother of Thakia. He is a man who gives medical treatment. He should take seven Ajwa dates of Medina and grind them with their kernels and then put them into your mouth. That's Sunan Abu Dawud the Hadith 3878. It's not in the Bible that Muhammad says if you eat seven Ajwa dates in the morning, you'll be protected all day from both magic and poison. It's Sahih, authentic Hadith, that Muhammad says that. Uh, not the Bible. I, I bet you won't eat seven Ajwa dates in the morning and then take a uh, cyanide pill to prove Muhammad is not a false prophet for saying such a stupid thing like that, true? Read my previous comment up to end. So you think Muhammad saying eat, eat seven Ajwa dates in the morning will protect you all day from most magic? Uh, so, so, are you, so you think Muhammad saying eat seven Ajwa dates in the morning will protect you all day from magic and poison just means that eating seven Ajwa dates in the morning are good for you? What if you're a diabetic? You sure it's good to eat that number of dates? Well, better just mean that those certain amount of dates are just good for you and not that they will protect you from both magic and poison. Or what would that mean to you about Muhammad being a true prophet, right? I didn't suggest this for only for diabetics. You mean it did suggest it for diabetics? Where do you get that? If it did, well, isn't uh, that Muhammad telling diabetics to kill themselves? If a diabetic eats that number of dates in the morning, it will be like poison to them. Yeah, I mean, not protect them. You know? If a doctor says in TV or somewhere that honey is good for you, then diabetics should complain and, uh, and take his PhD from him. If they go by your logic, no, Muhammad says in the Sahih Authentic Hadith that if, if, if you eat seven Ajwa, seven, uh, that certain number of dates, seven, uh, those Ajwa dates, you'll be protected all day from both magic and poison. Sounds like you don't believe that and hope it's metaphoric for that certain number of dates to just be good for you. Or am I wrong here? If I'm wrong, correct me please, okay? <coughs> and um, he didn't come back. Anyway, then I take on an African-American black girl who possibly a Muslim, I'm not really sure. She says this. She says, why did you share this video? It seems so out of context. Are you sure you are correct? Oh, this is in the video. Unchained Memories. Reading from the slave narratives. I said, I said this. This is what got her talking. I said, Quran 424 removes African-American complaint for the time the U.S. had slavery by allowing Muslim slave master, uh, a slave, slave master to have sex with someone's wife if she's the right-hand possessed slave of the Muslim slave master. The first part of Quran 424 goes as follows. Forbidden to you are married women, uh, except which are right-hand possessed. That one little scripture alone makes slavery okay and nullifies black complaint for the time U.S. had slavery, if Islam is true. And that God is saying, why did you say, share this video? It seems so out of context. Are you sure you are correct? It, it seemed that video was about slavery. And being that Islam not only allows for slavery, but allows Muslim slave masters to have sex with someone's wife if she's his slave. I, I just thought African Americans should know this since so many African Americans are becoming a Muslim now. I want to let them know what they're getting into. Many of the slaves were Muslims who first came over as slaves, but I'm sure they never suffered like they did at the, at the hands of Christians. Suffered? In what way? What did Christians do to them? In the first part of Quran 424, you can have sex with someone's wife if she's your slave, your right, your right hand possessed. If there's a scripture like that in the before scriptures Bible that the Quran says it confirms, well, uh, where is it? Sure, even the Bible has lines about slavery. That is why the masters use religion as an excuse for their actions. 
if you think the Bible allows for slavery, check out the Quran. For the Quran says it confirms the before scriptures, the Bible, which, and causes all his words. So, uh, you have, so you have what? So, you have what is in the Bible and the first part of Quran 424 allowing for slavery in Islam. You know, I better quit it here.